Yo you guys, what is going on? It's Blazonary here, and today in this video, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different than what I usually do. I'm gonna be shopping through the SneakerCon app, which y'all already know I'm a part of, and I'm just gonna be going through talking about some of my favorite kicks that I see on there. I'm gonna buy a couple pairs, and then later on in this video, you guys are gonna see what pairs got delivered to my house, the conditions, the process, how it worked. Is SneakerCon legit? Of course they're legit, but I'm gonna show y'all. We're gonna go through the tag and what that is, because y'all probably are like, Blaze, I see this tag on a lot of your shoes. Like, what is that? So I'm going to be answering that question too and how you can get your own tag as well. All right, so we're on the interface of the app. So right now we're in the all category on the bottom left. Tap on the little sneaker down there and it brings you to all the shoes that are on the app. If you're like me and you got your shoes legit checked at SneakerCon, they do it for free. You can ask them and they'll do it for you scan it right there and what it does is it basically brings up a little page that says sneaker con legit authenticated verify the details below and then these are all my informational things about the shoe that's how i got these toronto raptors right here i got these from an event but the cool thing about this too is if y'all see in my closet right here if we go over and we hit add right here scan that in i'm now adding my fours into my collection so i'm going to own them to my closet and just like that i have a digital portfolio of all of my sneakers that I have tagged. Now I got a lot more, but I'm just uh, holding off on adding them and stuff like that for content reasons, yada yada. As y'all saw, we just added in my Raptors. I actually ordered some Fire Red 2012s very recently, and y'all will see that at the end of this video. So I have a couple pairs that I actually am looking for and I have uh, notifications on for. You can even rate your seller filters down here. So we're gonna search for new, used, and new conditional. New conditional is like if the box is damaged, nine and a half, Adidas, Jordan, Puma, Nike, yeah, yeah. I really missed out on these uh, all-stars right here. If y'all are size 14, jump on that. They're worn one time. I want to save them as my want list. Cap and gown, got those as well. Ooh, the seven golden moments pack. Such a fire pack. Travis Scott, yeah. Bread toes. Ooh, the high UNCs. I'm doing a screen recording. You call me at the worst time. Love you, bye. Got the 12s. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, I love those core purples. I got mine from SneakerCon too. South Beach LeBron 8. Used. 8.5. Kind of beat. 353, you know what I'm saying? All right, so that's potential. The Tianjin Foams. Ooh, I remember when those came out. For right now, I think that's a good place to stop. New shoes are getting added, you know, probably every couple hours, who knows? So uh, let's wait on it and see what happens. One week later. Let me go ahead and bust my phone out and let's get open this app. So as y'all can see, I made a move right here on these Zoom Fly Off Whites. And I did that because they were 230 bucks. SneakerCon is dropping mad steals all the time. I can just tell because literally $230. Like, what are these going for right now? Off white. 280 right now is the next best in a size eight. And the rest of the other prices are just a little higher. All the other colorways right here are going for like 350. You can go ahead and bust out that men's eight and a half not luxury casual boots. Oh, 550? What? What? You're joking me. If these are legit, I'm gonna buy them because having another pair of turtle doves for $550 is not bad. I'm gonna go ahead and make an offer. 520. Offer is placed. Damn, so I noticed they got a size 13 in the core royals. I'm gonna go ahead and order these for my dad. Purchase complete. I don't even think I wanna wait any longer to lose these turtle doves right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit buy now. And if they're not legit, SneakerCon is gonna go ahead and say that they're not legit. Refund me for some fakes. That's the best part about SneakerCon. Some commotion going on downstairs. Excellent. Knew I should have copped the Space Jams. Space Jam retail for 220, but you got an under retail pair right here, except problem is there's no OG box. They're kind of nasty looking. Thank you. These ones are clean. I think I'm gonna go ahead and offer. Nah, I mean, for 11 bucks, I shouldn't even haggle this kid. I'm just gonna go ahead and buy them. Seems like kind of a steal to me, so I'm gonna go ahead. Like, I've been looking at them this whole time. I'm just gonna go ahead and make the purchase processing request. Bang, bang, you got it. Oof, I really want these backboards. I'm just gonna add them to my wants. All right, I think we got a good amount of shoes, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and wait for these pairs to get in. I'm excited. I got some, I got some good winter heat these next couple days coming up. 
All right, guys, it is about a month and like a week or two weeks since the last time that I recorded anything for this video. A lot of crazy things have been happening and the most updated crazy thing is that I am moving in like two days. I'm gonna give you guys details about that in an upcoming moving video, but you guys are seeing this on a Sunday. It is the most updated in my life and that is what's going on, I'm moving. So I've literally been doing nothing but nonstop pumping out videos and getting all the things ready. In this video, I was able to hold off on just for a little bit, but in terms of how fast the sneakers actually got to me, it only took within two or three days because they're based in New York, it's on the East Coast. Very, very fast shipping to me. I'm gonna go ahead, unbox these pairs. Don't know exactly what pairs were received and what pairs we didn't get our offers accepted on. We'll find out all that information right now. So let's go ahead, crack open. Well, this one's kind of big, so I don't feel like doing that. And let's, okay. all right, let's go ahead, start with this first one. So right here, it looks like we have the Space Jam Air Jordan 11s. I love that space print on the inside. That's really cool detailing about the package. The 11 looks a little differently than it did in the past. And right here, I mean, yeah, these things will look like they've been worn maybe five, six, maybe even seven times. And the condition on them looks great. Of course, we have the SneakerCon legit tag on there. Other pair, really nice, paid 260 for them. And now I got a pair of Space Jam 11s to rock. Let's go ahead and see what pair this is. This is a pair that I actually didn't buy while I was on camera. This was a pair that I just saw for a really low price and I definitely just had to jump on it. The Air Jordan Levi collab. Uh, got them used. There's a, all the stars are on the sneaker. Stars are a great way to tell how worn a sneaker is. They really don't have any drag. So I'm assuming these have been worn maybe twice and just got them for a great price. Might distress them with some sandpaper, something like that. Try and make them stand out. And it's a pretty sick pair right here. Next up, it looks like an Air Jordan 1 box. And these are the size 13 court purples that I got from my dad. Brand new, pretty awesome very good price on these i think he's gonna love them a lot of my merchandise is purple and i think these are gonna be great for him i'm gonna go ahead get his reaction real quick after i record this segment and i'll include it right now so here you go i got a present for you for me yep what's that there right there i'm talking to the people i'm talking to the people hello people today we are putting up the tv bracket very exciting i'm peeking out my left eye though he can't see me Left eye speaking. All right, close it. All right, bruh. All right, bruh. Open your eyes in three, two, one. Ta da! Oh, wow, what are these? Uh, Air Jordan 1 Court Purples. Oh, these are my first Jordan 1s. Do you like them? I thought I remember you said you do like them. I do like them. Why? Uh, why? Is it, why am I being gifted these, fam? I don't know. I found them for a good price on the sneaker crown app, so I bought them. Ah, uh, we love the sneaker. <laughs> Oh, these are very cool. What color are they? Dark blue? Purple. Gray. Purple? Purple. Those are going to be fresh and dope. All right, y'all. We got another pair right here. Let's go ahead and crack these open. Looks like we have another Air Jordan 4 box. Fire Red 4. You guys know, if you've been following the channel for a while, I love the Air Jordan 4 and all its different colorways. The Fire Red 2012 edition is one of those colorways that will always stand out. I really hope they throw the Nike Air on these at some point. But until then, I can only hope and wear the old retro of these. They're in surprisingly really good condition, and I found them for a great price, considering that they're from 2012. The midsole cracking, honestly, is not that bad either. If I wanted to, I could go ahead and repaint them myself. I'm just going to keep wearing them, though. There's no need to repaint them just yet. I'm really satisfied with this pair. Also a used pair, but as you can tell, it doesn't even look used. Right here, we have the last box. Crack this open. One, two brown boxes both not by the same company one of them is nike one of them is adidas let's go ahead and crack open the adidas size 9 yeezy boost 350 pop let's go ahead and check out the condition of these turtle doves wow for 
$550, I just found the turtle dove that I'm going to run into the ground. I'm gonna go ahead and preserve the pair that I currently have and start wearing these instead because they're just a little bit more beat on the bottom, but it's really not bad at all. Uppers are in great, great shape. There's still really good toe box shape. I'm really a fan of this pair. Certified by SneakerCon makes me feel a whole lot better buying turtle doves because the easy fake market is so bad. And lastly, we have the off-white swoosh. This is the off-white Nike Zoom Fly in the pink orange, the neon on the Nike swoosh. All really dope elements that create a nice sneaker. And I think that the transparency and uh, you have to be wearing some good socks that day. So as y'all can see here, this was a pretty good sneaker haul. We got one, two, three, six pairs. It turns out the yellow uh, ochres were fake, which is which is great for me because I didn't pay for them and get scammed. South Beach LeBrons also, my offer was denied and somebody bought them. Now that I think back on it, I should have bought them, but it's whatever. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you smash the like button if you have enjoyed and I'm gonna be moving out, so hell yeah. Shout out to my post notification gang. You guys have a chance to go ahead and comment post notification gang. If you're one of the first people on the video, you can get featured in upcoming videos. That's all I gotta say. Love you guys, it's Blazonary. I'm out. I'll have my moving update video very very soon, like very soon, it's the next video on the channel. All right, stay positive. Peace.